Hey Aries, it's about that time for your love reading. So I just uploaded Leo's love reading and I already have another one of your up, up, wow. I already have another one of your love readings up. So if you'd like to watch that too, you can do that as well. Now I also have a video up of what your person wants to tell you that they don't feel comfortable sharing with you. That's for the fire signs, which is Leo Sagittarius Aries. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. Now, if you would like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. And if you would like to use the oracle deck that I'll be using, which is the Mass Feelings Oracle COVID-19 edition, you can also purchase that through the link in my description box, which is my website. I also have my Cash App and my PayPal in the description box if you would like to tip me. Okay, well, this card already flew out. So I wish I could go back in time. Your person is wishing that they can go back in time to fix things or to change things. Um, I'm not too sure what that could be, but yeah, you would know better than me. Alrighty. Now let's get down to it. Okay, so. Aries. This is for all placements of Aries as well. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, all of that good stuff. This is going to be for all the placements. And so we're going to see, first off, what's going on in your love life, Aries. We're going to see what's currently going on in your love life right now. We're going to get a little backstory. So what's going on, you may have distanced yourself from your person. For some of y'all, you actually moved from your person, not even moved out. For some, it could be moving out, but I want to say moved to another city, another state. And I see that you two are still trying to keep things going, keep the connection going. Um, but, you know, there's distance. Now, for others of y'all, I see that you've decided that you needed to walk away from your person or distance yourself from your person because you feel as if things are very unrequited. You feel like it's not being reciprocated. What you're giving, you aren't you aren't receiving. So you felt, you know, it's time to distance yourself. It's time for a break with that Four of Swords. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna see. Aries, what do you need to know about your person? Whether it's the person that you're currently dealing with or the person that's on your mind, what do you need to know about them? Off rip with the Five of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I'm getting the vibe of they're struggling financially. They're keeping some type of facade. It could be on social media, you know, keeping some type of facade going that, you know, they're balling or that they're they're doing well. Um, clarification on the Knight of Cups. I feel like your person is struggling financially on the low, but they're really trying to make it seem as if things are going well. It's like they're they're living, um, what's that saying? It's like they're living beside their means or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I see that your person is like, they're trying to put on a facade like they're stable or they balling, but really it's like they're low-key stressing about their finances. And with the Knight of Cups, it's like, It's like, I don't know how to explain it. For some of y'all, they could be, okay. So for some of y'all, it's like they're being more emotionally available because they can't be available in a way of, okay, date nights, movie nights, this, that, gifts. Like, it's like they're being um, available in a different way than financially. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But the vibe that I'm getting most right now is that your person is struggling financially. And it's like they're going to try and offer you their love in a different way that doesn't involve money. But they're going to continue trying to keep up some type of facade that they have money. Okay. What else does Aries need to know about their person? So this reading is different than what I usually do. Usually I do the love readings, you know, how they feel about you, how you feel about them, outcome, all that good stuff. But this one, I'm going to switch it up. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty of what you need to know about your person. So the other cards that came out is the Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. 
I feel like they're going to try and, like I said, offer you their love in a different way so you don't cut them off with that Queen of Swords. It's like, okay, it's like, with this Ace of Wands, it's giving me the vibe. This Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands is giving me the vibe of, like, they're going to put it down in the bedroom. Like, they might start doing new kinky things to keep you on lock, to keep you digmatized or, you know, caught up, sprung, whatever the case may be. It could be pussmatized, however you want to call it. I see that they're going to, like, literally try and keep you, like, sprung off them, but through sex or through being vulnerable and emotionally available instead of, you know, date nights or gifts or flowers or stuff like that. Like, I see that they're going to try and get you caught up on them in a different way rather than you know courting you pretty much that page of custom that ace of wands is, is screaming i'm gonna put it down you're gonna fall in love like y'all know that song i'm gonna put it down you're gonna fall in love i'm gonna put it down down you're gonna fall in love yeah that's the song message for y'all that's that's what i'm hearing if i put it down right something something how you want it play your cards right maybe we could fall in love i'm trying to tell you they're gonna put it down Instead of courting you, they're going to put it down so you don't cut them off with that Queen of Swords. But we're going to go into the Oracle deck that I created. I'm being so goofy tonight, y'all. I'm dead. But um, we're going to go into the Oracle deck that I created, which once again, you can purchase through the link in the description box, which is my website. And we're going to see what else do you need to know about this person. So, Aries, what else do you need to know about this person? I'm trying to tell y'all, this person is struggling financially. Like, their finances is not there at all. So the first card that came out is, I wish I treated you better. They wish that they treated you better. They're wishing that, you know, they can, I don't even, I don't even want to say that they wish they treated you better. It's more so they wish that they can do more for you, but they can't. It's like they're trying to find their self. They're trying to get their self together. They're trying to fix their life. For some of y'all, they may have like, you know, totaled their car or crashed their car or something about their car. I don't know why this is a channeled message at this point. Something about their car and it's like they have to get their self back on their feet. And it's like they're trying to find their self again. They're trying to get things going again. They're trying to become stable. And then sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I feel like this person stays awake thinking that you're going to end up leaving them. Like if I don't get my shit together, this person is going to dip off on me. Let me get three more cards. Oh, wow. And I sure enough got those three cards. Okay. Let me pick these cards up. I'm trying to tell you. Man, look. I'm trying to tell you the you're the one that got away they're feeling like if they lose you you're the one that got away so they have to keep you locked in some way somehow but the ace of wands it could even be that they're low-key gonna try and trap you that's for a very 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 small group of y'all that could be for like two people but it's more so they're gonna put it down to the point that you know they they feel like you know if i put it down good enough then they're not gonna leave me but they feel as if you're gonna be the one that gets away if you were to leave them i'm unavailable i feel it's more so they're unavailable financially they cannot do for you if you need some help with your bills baby they need some help too they're unavailable they can't do it right now and then i left before you could hurt me i honestly feel like especially since it's at the bottom of this one i honestly feel like they're feeling like they're they staying up thinking like should i leave this person before they could leave me like should i be out on this person before they leave out on me like they're really debating like what should i do i'm trying to tell you this person's struggling financially i'm trying to tell you okay so we're gonna get into how they feel about you Aries, how is this person currently feeling about you? The signs that I did see was Aries as well and Scorpio, just to let you know. It doesn't have to be those signs, but that's what I've seen. Okay, so how is this person currently feeling about you, Aries? Star card. It could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. The moon card pisces or cancer 
So I see that they're hiding. It's like, I'm trying to tell y'all. They're trying to make it seem like their life is going oh so well. Their life is peaceful. Their life is amazing. You know, they're a star. Not necessarily a star, but you know, they're very situated. Like, I see that this person is really trying to hide the fact that they're struggling. I feel like with the Eight of Wands, once they get comfortable with you and once they feel at peace with you and... um. I don't even want to see at peace but once they feel more comfortable with you with the eight of wands i do see that they're gonna let you know like hey i'm actually struggling um but i see for right now they're gonna continue hiding that i know that's how they feel about you but that's honestly sort of like an outcome reading i see that eventually they will open up about how they're financially struggling but for right now i see that they're gonna keep trying to play it as their life is going good and things and they're at peace and things is going great and this and that and let me get one more card for my oracle deck let me get one okay you have to let me go so they're feeling like it's best if you let them go until they get their finances in order and with the eight of wands that may be what they're going to speak to you about they may just let you know like hey it's best if we distance things is this it's best if we end things because you know i'm not financially set for you right now i can't really focus on a relationship i have to focus on my finances so earlier in the reading when it seemed like you know you were thinking of distancing yourself from someone or walking away from someone now that i look back it seems like this person is being distant with you or thinking of walking away with you and you were the queen of cups still coming with your love and that's why you may have felt like things are being um like things are unrequited because this person can't really give you exactly what you want because you know they're struggling they can't even give their self exactly what they want but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading make sure y'all like make sure y'all subscribe um once again i have the fire signs um what they want to tell you but they but don't feel comfortable sharing with you i have that video up so make sure y'all check that out and once again i have my tips my little tip jar up which is my cash app and my paypal in the description box but thanks for watching you guys bye